Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota, located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 RAV4 SE. Now the most notable features on the SE is its heated steering wheel, its power moonroof, as well as its power liftgate. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 RAV4 SE. Let's get started. To start, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the SE. One of them being is your daytime running lights as well as your fog lamps. And if we just take a look over on the side here, you're going to see your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. On your mirrors you have your integrated signal lamps and taking a look on the inside here you're going to see your blind spot monitoring. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator it will actually alert you if there's a vehicle right beside you. Now the other nice thing that was added for 2017 was the smart key system. Now with the smart key system you can actually lock all doors simultaneously just by pushing on these two little lines you see here on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically and then if you actually put your hand between the handle it'll unlock the front door for you. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. You also have your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Galactic Aqua. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your orange stitching to um, accent the uh, sport trim for the SE model as well as your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side you have your mirror controls as well as your lane departure alert heat steering wheel and then you also have your all wheel drive lock and power lift gate opener. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your window locks, power locks, window controls for both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel are your volume control, you have your scroll function, Bluetooth mode, select voice recognition, then you also have your scroll function for your multi-informational display, and then you also have your cruise control located down below. Now one of the other nice things with the SE, it does have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look now at your display, you're going to see an exterior temperature gauge as well as a couple of other additional features including a distance empty, eco indicator, all wheel drive control, and then you also have your sway warning control. Now you also have your navigation system that you can scroll through just by going to your right as well as your audio, cruise control, messages, and then you can adjust your settings for your lane departure lit pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off. When it's actually turned on, it'll actually light up and just send off an alarm just inside the vehicle just telling you that it has been switched on. And then you also have a couple of other additional settings so you can personalize everything for yourself. Now taking a look now at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're going to see your digital clock or hazard lights. Digital clock will just be located down here. And then for 2017 they also added in indicator lights for your rear passengers. So parents, if you're worried about your kids not buckling up their seatbelts, this indicator light won't actually turn off until they've actually buckled up their seatbelts. Now you also have your traction control on and off. And then taking a look at some of the apps on your touch panel display, you're going to see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. You have your dual zone climate control settings with your fan speed and mode select with your front rear defroster. Located just underneath, you'll see your eco and sport mode as well as your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, window wiper de-icer, your USB and auxiliary, and your two power outlets. Matted to a six-speed automatic transmission. Taking a look at, up at the top here, you're going to see your auto dimming rear view mirror with your integrated garage door opener and your digital compass. And then you also have your open and close and your tilt up and down for your power moonroof just in case you do want to have a bit of a breeze flowing through the vehicle. And then you also have your sunglass case holder in the event when it's quite bright outside. However, if you do forget your sunglasses, you do have these visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you're going to find your backup camera. Just located on your left hand side, rear hatch release will be located just underneath your Toyota emblem here. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up automatically for you. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. One of the things I like that comes with the SC is that it has the tonneau cover. So if you're going from store to store and you're having to put all your groceries and valuables into the rear cargo space, but you're worried about people possibly seeing what you have back there, once the, ton the tonneau cover is actually pulled out, you people won't be able to actually see what you have back there. Now you also have some under the floor storage just located at the very front of the vehicle here. And then taking a look, you'll see your spare tire as well as your jack and your toolkit underneath here. But the nice thing about this space is that you can actually store your tonneau cover underneath here as well. So in the event that you have any cargo that sits a little bit higher where the tonneau cover is getting in the way, you can have it stored underneath here rather than taking it out and putting it into the garage and possibly needing it later. Now the other great thing is, is if you need the additional cargo space, you can actually fold down that 60-40 split second row. 
So in the event that you need that cargo space, it's available to you, or if you need one passenger in the back there, then you can fold down your 60 side. Now taking a look at the very top here, you also have your power lift gate opener. So all you have to do, so if you wanted to adjust the uh, height of the tailgate, all you have to do is hold down on this button, set it at the desired position, hold down on the button for approximately two seconds, it'll beep several times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the site for you. Now if you do need to reset the height for whatever reason, hold down on this button again for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to that maximum height for you. The one thing I like with the RAV4 is that it has a lot of versatility in what you're able to do with it just because you have a roof rack as well as the ability to actually fold down your second row seats in the event that you do need the additional cargo space. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.